I recently had the opportunity to play with the new high school pack for The Sims 4 and I played with it a lot. I filmed a lot of YouTube videos for all of you and today we're going to review it. Basically, I want to walk you through what comes in the pack, what's good, what's bad, and whether or not I think it's worth buying. First, I want to thank the EA Creator Network for giving me this early access and just so we're clear, I'm not like being paid or sponsored or anything. I literally just got the pack early. They basically added a second version of The Sims 4 into my origin library for just a few days. So I had my regular game that had like all my packs and saves and stuff and then this one that just had the base game, the newest update, and then the new pack. That version of the game also has a watermark floating around the screen, so you'll see that in the footage. And I only had the game for like four days before losing early access. I will get access again soon, like closer to the launch, but I only had this special early access for a limited time and I don't have the game anymore. Before we start, I've got some pretty exciting news because we're running a huge summer sale on my merch store right now. So everything on my website is 10% off. And if you're looking at any t-shirts, those are buy one, get one half off. You can check everything out on lilsimzyshop.com. I'll link that down below for you and use code summer sale at checkout to get those discounts. But with those disclaimers out of the way, let's talk about the new high school pack. I gotta say, I think that playing with this pack for the past few days has maybe been some of the most fun that I've ever had playing The Sims. The first night that I had access, I made this Sim that was kind of like me in high school. She was like socially awkward, a major overachiever, and I was kind of just playing around like testing things out. So my Sim Tina had been talking to this girl named Molly on the new social media app and Molly started it, okay? Molly posted like some flirty message about how having a crush on me publicly on her feet. Keep that in mind, she started this. And you can build like friendship and romance on the app by like sending flirty messages and stuff. So we had like a half full green and pink bar just from talking on the app. And then when I'm actually at school and like around Molly in person, my sim literally cannot speak to her. And I don't mean that there isn't an option. Like I'm trying to talk to her. I'm like giving heartfelt compliments and like getting to know Molly. And every time I try, Molly like rejects it. She refuses to speak to me. And it's because Tina is socially awkward. So her social interactions fail like all the time. But now with this pack, the game can have other Sims ask to date you and stuff. So Molly, after rejecting me completely, then asked me to be her girlfriend. So now I'm officially dating Molly. I try and prom pose to her thinking like, oh, we're girlfriends. She'll come to prom. She says no. And then when we actually get to prom, Molly gets a sentiment about being hurt that I didn't ask her to prom. Excuse me, I did. And you said no. Oh my God. So I'm just sitting here like near tears, laughing out loud to myself at my computer screen. And I wasn't even recording, I was just doing this for fun. There are so many funny moments and cute new animations and like silly gameplay things that I really had the best time playing with this pack. So with that being said, I want to walk you through some of the highlights of the new high school years pack. So like I mentioned, there is a whole new social media app in this pack called Social Bunny. Basically, you can add friends, post to a public feed, send private messages, and also like react to things with little bunny stickers. It's got a proper UI, so you can actually like read things and like read what your sims are saying to each other. It's kind of fun to see what they get excited about and like what they choose to post about and say. People could also post about having crushes on you and stuff, like sims that you haven't flirted with, and so it's kind of exciting to help drive and direct your gameplay. And you can actually befriend people on this app. Like I mentioned, my sim Tina was literally impossible to talk to in real life, but she made a lot of social bunny friends. Because you can send DMs and stuff, you can build friendship that way instead of like actually talking to people. And they get like a little social bunny friend relationship status. It's pretty cute. There's also a ton of new active events for teens in this pack. We we obviously have high school, which you can go to every single day, but they also added in prom, graduation, and career day. I think I was probably most excited about prom because I have been begging for something like this forever in The Sims 4. So prom happens on a Saturday night and you've got pretty much all week to prep for it. There's a lot of details and little things leading up to prom, like there's multiple ways to prom pose to somebody. You can have your sim make a sign and have like some big event promposal where they show it to them and essentially propose, but like with a sign instead of a ring. They can also leave little sticky notes on lockers to prom pose to people and you can just ask them like normal. You can ask them to go with you like as a date or as a friend, but you can also be asked to prom like as a friend, but also as a date by a different sim. You get like a little pop up. It's so cool. And speaking of which, other sims can now ask you to be friends, like best friends or to be their partner, which is pretty cool to have like other sims have that autonomy. Finally, we are not the only ones asking other people to date us. And then at the actual prom event, you get there, there's some tables set up. For some reason, there's like 15 whole roasted chickens. There's a dance floor, there's a spot to vote for the prom jester and prom royalty. You can also be invited to pre-prom and post-prom parties by other sims. I had my sim win prom queen once and it was the single greatest moment of my entire life. I got like a crown and everything. Because there's a lot of events going on like at all times in high school, you can see them all on the calendar, which is pretty good. You can see like the cheer day, the football day, prom, graduation, all of those things listed there for you. I thought career day was pretty cute too. My sim went there during school one day and they have a chance to like talk to professionals 
professionals about their jobs. It's kind of boring, like there isn't actually a lot going on, but it is kind of fun for storytelling purposes, I think. I like the idea of pretending my sim like decided to be a doctor because they met one at career day. I haven't actually seen the graduation event because it was glitching and I never got invited to one, but keep in mind this wasn't final software, so hopefully that bug is fixed by the time the game actually comes out for everybody. Aside from just like physical events, there's also a lot of after school activities going on that your sim can join. From their phone, just like any other activity or job or whatever, you can now join football, cheer, chess, or computer clubs. And they'll usually have a club meeting like three days a week for a couple of hours after school. And for them, you've got to like practice programming or like throw a football or work out or whatever to level up. These all work basically like part-time jobs. So your sim's got like three levels they can level up through and they've got to do daily tasks like practice programming or throw a football. One of the other proper events in the pack is that football day and your sims will go basically after school on a Friday night into the big field and then just like throw around a football. The same thing happens for cheer, but you can also schedule one for computers and chess. This pack has a lot of really cute animations. I think I was especially impressed by the cheerleading ones. I don't know what I was expecting, but I think maybe just like some dance moves. But my sim was like doing backflips and stuff. They do like all kinds of jumps. I was really, really surprised and like pleasantly surprised. They also added a ton of other cute little like mini teen activities. Like when they sit on the bed, they can have pillow fights with their friends and stuff. I did notice that they talk about these pillow fights all the time. Like on Social Bunny, I swear to you, like a third of the posts are about pillow fights. That might need to be tuned a little bit. They can also sneak out now from windows, and I won't lie, this is probably the most shocking thing in the entire pack to me. The idea of a sim in The Sims 4 being able to open a window and leave from it is like so bizarre. I just never thought we'd get something like that. Now it is obviously just that one window that functions that way, and it's gotta have like space on both sides for the sim to step out and stuff, but it's pretty cool and it's a really cute animation. And now kind of leaning more into create a sim, this pack actually comes with three new traits and four new aspirations, which is huge compared to other packs. The three new traits are party animal, overachiever, and socially awkward. And from my experience, they have a lot of impact on gameplay. I mean, you heard me talking about my sim, Tina. She literally couldn't talk to anybody. It was so funny. The new aspirations are all called teen aspirations and there's four different options. Now these are teen aspirations, so only teens can choose them, but you don't have to choose one of the four, you could pick any aspiration as a teen. And another huge trait related update is that they're adding wants and fears to the base game. These are replacing whims, so they'll show up like above your sim's head in those little clouds, but when they get a fear, it also gives them a temporary trait related to it. So for example, I had an elder sim who had a fear of death, which is kind of morbid. One of my sims started a fire, she had a fear of fire. I also got afraid of getting dumped, I was afraid of failing, and all those things show up again as temporary traits. This is a base game feature, but there's also a ton of new ones that are pack specific. And as far as other cast stuff goes, there's obviously a huge amount of create a sim assets. There's a lot of really interesting kind of trendy clothing in this pack, as you probably expect. I feel like I've seen all of these things on TikTok before. It's also got a pretty wide variety of styles, which I was pretty pleased about. Yet again, masculine frame sims got a lot less stuff in this pack. Most of the clothing works on both frames and it's been actually properly fitted to properly fit on both frames, but they still have less options. We always say this with like every single pack, but I would love to see some more attention into the masculine clothing. There of course isn't anything for kids or toddlers in this pack. Obviously it's a very teen focused pack, but some of the hairs do work on all ages. We also finally have body hair. Now this is a base game feature, so everybody's gonna get body hair, but there's like some extra gameplay and some extra options that come with the high school pack. The coolest thing about this though is that if you have the pack, your sim will have hair growth. So if your sim has facial hair, it will grow. Like it'll change from like just stubble to a full beard eventually, unless you choose to shave it. And they can actually shave it in game. Like they can click on a mirror and choose to shave their hair. Same thing for arm and leg hair and stuff. You can opt out of this, there's just like a little checkbox in cast that you can tick to opt out of hair growth, but it's really cool. As far as build goes, there is a ton of stuff in this pack. I think the biggest standout to me is how many beds there are. There are 10 new beds in this pack. There's five single beds and five double beds. I am so glad to have more beds for my sims. I feel like the bed is kind of the main decision factor when it comes to like how you're gonna design a room, so it's really nice to have more options. There's a lot of really interesting teenage bedroom decor and like a lot of cutesy stuff like LED light strips and things like that. I think this pack is sort of supposed to have like an art deco build style to it, but I won't lie, there's not really a lot of build stuff. It's mostly just like buy mode stuff, like furniture. We only got a few windows and a couple of doors and like a couple roof pieces and that's it. So as far as building an art deco building goes, it's not really possible with this pack, I don't think. That's not to say that build mode is bad, it's just like mostly furniture and not a lot of like build stuff, if that makes sense. Now as far as the world goes, I was extremely impressed. I I love the new world of Copperdale. It is so cool. In total, it's got 12 lots. Two of those are high school buildings.
buildings, like there's the actual school and the auditorium. There's a little thrift shop, a library, and a park, and then a few houses, two starter homes, a few townie houses, and one empty lot. There's also this huge pier area that's got like fair rides on it and stuff. It's not technically a lot because you can't build there, but it's huge and your sim can visit it. It's got a Ferris wheel and a little haunted house and like an ice cream stand. It's really, really cool. You can also swim in the water by it. There's like a little beach section. I am obsessed with this area. So for me, those are all of the really huge standout positives from this pack, but let's talk about the not so good things. I won't lie to you, I think that the high school that comes in this pack is a little bit boring. I know that sounds really bad because the entire pack is supposed to be about high school, but I'm not a huge fan of the lot. The default building feels kind of empty to me, and I think that it's maybe just way too big for its own good. I think that functionally it needs to be a little bit smaller to work better in game. For example, it's like four stories and I never had my sim really going up or downstairs, I just stayed on the main floor. I will say one highlight is that you can completely customize the high school and it still works perfectly. I always get nervous about bulldozing lots like this because I'm worried about breaking the game and like forgetting to put an item, but this pack actually has a proper list of all the required items and when I rebuilt the lot from scratch it worked just fine, there was no bugs. For example, I personally would never completely bulldoze the hospital lot from get to work. I usually just like save all of the important stuff and then delete the rest manually because I'm worried about breaking something completely. And I guess that's why you can't edit that hospital lot without the free build cheat, but for the high school you don't need any cheats, you can just edit it and it still works. Now as far as the actual active school day goes, you can't really do that much at school. So your sim shows up at 8am and they get a couple hours of free time, it'll say in the top left corner. You can use that to like study, maybe build some skills, talk to friends. I mostly tried to meet people in this time. And then you'll have your first of two classes that day and at 9.30 the bell will ring and your sim will run into class and it starts at 10. In class you can't actually do anything, your sim just sits there for an hour. I was hoping you could like set them to listen or take notes or ask questions or something, but instead they just sit there and like open a book and look at the teacher. You can't even choose to nap in class if you want, they literally just sit there for an hour. And then after that first class they've got like a three hour lunch break, which is pretty good because you need that time to actually get anything done, your sims are pretty slow. Especially to walk around how big the school is, you really need a lot of time to like get between the different areas. There is a real cafeteria and there is a person who works there that you can buy food from, so that's pretty fun. There's also new vending machines so you can buy food from those if you want. I found it was kind of hard to get my sim to sit with their friends at lunch. That's probably just a general sims issue though, like I find it's hard to get my sims to eat dinner as a family when they're all in the same household, let alone when I've got like 25 random teens all in the same room. After lunch you've got one more hour long class and then the bell rings and school is over. It's kind of cool, your sim will have like a proper class schedule and go to two different classes each day and gain different skills in all of those classes. So while you're physically at school they'll gain like the writing skill and the programming skill and stuff like that. It is also kind of nice to have a lot of free time because then you can make your sim go and like practice painting or practice programming or study for their exams. And they do have exams every Friday, those regular classes are exam classes instead. I found my sims usually finish their exams early though, like instead of taking the full hour they just get up and leave after 30 minutes. And the problem with that is that if you're out of class when the class is going on you have a chance of getting detention. Like at one point my sim got up in the middle of class autonomously to go to the bathroom and then she got detention for it. You only get in trouble if you get caught by the principal, but like she was coming back like standing outside of the classroom door and then she got yelled at and forced to come sit through detention after school. And maybe that's realistic, you know, getting yelled at for no reason and also not allowed to go to the bathroom for some reason, but like why is that happening in the sims? It was kind of funny, but it was also a little bit weird because I didn't even tell her to do it and like she wasn't even breaking any rules really, she was just peeing. You can also get in trouble on purpose by like skipping class and pulling pranks and stuff. You can plant stink bombs and lockers and things like that which is pretty funny. I will also say that I kind of wish we had more after school activities. Obviously things like football and cheer are fun and it's cool to have, but I'd like to see more options. I think in my head I was kind of just expecting a long list of rabbit holes like how The Sims 3 had. There was like a million options but you couldn't actually do things for them. I think they ended up making a smaller group of more detailed activities, but I wouldn't be mad to have like less detailed options just to have more labels, like an art club, or like the school newspaper, or wood shop or something, you know, just extra options for hobbies. Something else kind of weird is that every Thursday and Friday there's a cheer and football event, but if you want to do an event for the chess club or the computer club you have to like request it on a computer. I guess maybe they didn't want to clutter the calendar too much or something, but I just found it kind of odd that I couldn't just have a science fair option without having to like force it to happen. Much like the bathroom thing, maybe it's realistic that not as much funding or attention is going into those events, but it does kind of hurt. 
effort. Like, even in The Sims, you're saying that the sports are more important. Come on. There is also a whole new thrifting thing, which is genuinely pretty cool. There's a new thrift and boba shop called Thrift Tea, and you can go there and you can literally do thrifting. Like, when you click on the racks, it opens you into Cass, and you can make outfits in there and, like, buy and sell them. I did think it was actually pretty fun. I'm just gonna be honest, it's not really for me. I think I'd probably compare thrifting a little bit to Dream Home Decorator, kind of in the sense that if you're really into Create a Sim, you'll probably enjoy it, but if you're not, you probably won't use it very much. And with Dream Home Decorator and that interior design career, if you don't like building, you probably won't like it because the entire thing is building. And I'm just not a huge Create a Sim player, I mostly build, so for me, thrifting isn't like my favorite part of the pack, but it is actually pretty cool. I know I'm rambling a lot, but in my opinion, those are the upsides and the downsides of this high school year's pack. So overall, what are my final thoughts? Like I mentioned earlier, I think that playing with this pack was seriously some of the most fun that I've ever had playing The Sims. I really loved it. I'm also gonna use this pack all the time in the future. Like, I think that every single teen I'm ever going to have from now on is going to use this pack. And yes, I think that the active high school could be a little bit better and I found it a little bit boring and maybe a little bit disappointing, but I don't think that it's bad and I still really liked playing with it. I'm probably gonna have my teens in the future go to active school like one or two times a week. I probably won't go every day because it gets a little bit repetitive, but I really like being able to go to the school and meet people, have my sims build some skills, make some friends, and I'm definitely gonna use things like prom and graduation. I'll probably even go to career day every time. I love more options for part-time jobs and for after-school activities and stuff. It just really helps build out my sims personality. And you know what? The biggest selling point, honestly, is just having a place to meet other teens. It's kind of hard to meet other people your age in this game. Like, a lot of times when I'm playing the sims, I'll make a club with get-together with other teens just to have my sim know people. So I think it's really nice to have a lot where literally every teen in the entire game goes every day so I can meet people. Same thing with the social media app. It is a great way to meet people. I'd love to see it become like actual online dating because I'm probably going to use it that way, but for now this is a great addition to the game. And also just in general, I'm so glad to have more detail put into teens in this game. I feel like I've been begging for this for years. I've been wanting more detail and more stuff to kind of differentiate teens from adults for so long, and I am so glad to have this pack. I'd love to see things like this for other life states now. I don't know if they could pull off like an entire expansion pack for elders or something, but I'd love to see something for them. Give me like a retirement home pack. I don't know, let's have bingo or something. I'd just love to have more details for other life states. I feel like adults get everything and then babies, toddlers, kids, even elders kind of get left out. So this for teens I think is huge. Now there are two metrics that I use to see if a pack is good or not, and they are woohoo and death. I like to see new woohoo spots and new death types from new packs, and believe it or not, this pack has both. In fact, it's got a lot of new woohoo spots, like you can woohoo in the photo booth, you can woohoo in the ferris wheel, you can woohoo in the haunted house, you can woohoo like everywhere, it's kind of gross. Like I went to prom and I could woohoo in the photo booth, that's nasty, that is disrespectful. But I'm not mad about it, I like having more options. And apparently there's also a new death type, I haven't actually seen it yet, but I think it has something to do with pranks. So as far as I'm concerned, all my boxes are checked, we've got all the necessities out of this pack. My expectations were really, really high for this pack because I was so excited about it. I was like legitimately near tears when I saw the trailer. I just loved the idea of this so much. And I can honestly say those expectations were met. I had so much fun playing with this. I can wholeheartedly recommend it to you. This is the kind of pack that I feel like is always one of the best ones for The Sims 4. I love when packs are really replayable and when they fit really well into my everyday gameplay. So for example, I always say that Seasons is my favorite pack for The Sims 4 because it completely changes everything in the entire game. We've got weather, we've got seasonal changes, we have holidays, literally every day is different, and all of those things make a huge impact on my everyday gameplay, and I don't have to go out of my way to play with it. Whereas a lot of other packs, like Get Famous for example, are really fun, it's cool to play as a famous person, but I don't use fame in my everyday gameplay, I don't have every single sim be famous, but something like high school is gonna impact pretty much every household I ever play with from now on, because I always play with families, I always have teens, and all of those teens are gonna have all of these new things to do now thanks to the high school pack. So for me, this pack is like super worth the money because I'm gonna use this like all the time, literally in every single household from now on. Now I can't speak for everybody, maybe you're the opposite and you hate family gameplay and you never have kids or teens in your household, and if that's the case, you'll hate this pack, you don't want this pack. But if you're anything like me and you enjoy playing with families and The Sims, I think you'll love this. I just can't wait for this pack to come out, I think you're gonna have so much fun. And you know what else? There's a ton of gameplay that I didn't even get a chance to talk about yet or show you in this video because this pack is huge and this video is already too long. Now I did record a lot of videos with this pack while I had early access, so feel free to subscribe because I've got a ton of high school content coming for you for the next couple of weeks.
weeks. I'm not kidding, I made like 11 videos, so stay tuned for all of that. And later today on my Twitch channel, that's twitch.tv forward slash lilsimsy, I'm going to live stream and show you some more footage. I obviously don't actually have the pack right now, but I did film a lot of footage with the intention of just sharing it on stream, so if you want to see more stuff like that, I will be live tonight. I'll have that link down below for you if you want to go watch. I am so curious to hear your thoughts on this pack now that you've seen it, so please let me know in the comments. Are you excited? Are you not? Mostly I just want to talk about this more because I just can't, I can't stop. I'm, I'm really excited in case you, in case you couldn't tell. But with all of that being said, I will stop rambling at you and I'm gonna go. Thank you all so much for watching. Have the best rest of your day. Stay tuned for tomorrow because I've got more high school footage coming your way and I'll catch you all later. Bye everybody. You know what? I kind of wish this pack had come out when I was still in high school because I would have loved it then. I love it now, but I think that like 15 year old me would have died for this. <laughs>